What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, I'm Savannah. It's so nice to have you and in today's video, I'm basically just going to be showing you guys how I achieve this makeup look I have on right now. I achieved it without using any foundation and pretty much all of the products I use, minus a few, are all drugstore which just makes it super easy and affordable and if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieved it, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I'm going to start by prepping my skin with the Glossier Future Dew. I really like this just because it really helps you achieve that glowy but like glass skin look at the same time. So I do about a pump and I know I'm not using a foundation but I still just want to use this primer to really make my skin look way more glowy than it already is naturally. And then if I want a little bit more, I will always go in and add it. That's good. All right, so I'm not using foundation, but unfortunately I have a little friend that has joined me. So I'm going to cover that up super quickly with a concealer. I believe I want something that's gonna be like mainly my skin type or my skin shade so I can like camouflage it. Yeah, that looks good, okay. So I'm going in with my Infallible Pro Glow Concealer, just in that one spot. I'm just going to blend that in with my Beauty Blender quickly. And you can still kind of see it, so honestly, I'm going to see if I can put another layer and just let it sit for a second to get a little bit more tacky, and then see if that does it. So I'm going to let that sit for a second. While I do that, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow. So I'm going to take two different brushes. It doesn't matter what brushes you use. I'm just going to be using a brush for my crease and then just like an all over lid brush. These are both Smashbox, I believe. And I'm going to be taking my Charlotte Tilbury Exagger Eyes palette. I love this palette so much. It has the prettiest colors. Let me show you guys. And what I'm going to do is take this shade all over my lid, and then I'm going to put this shade in my crease. These don't actually have names for the colors, but the one I'm using is Enlarge and then Pop, if that helps. So, actually, I'm going to use this, or I'm going to do this new little trick. I learned this from Jessica Howell. I saw it in one of her Get Ready videos. So I'm going to go ahead and do my lid first and I'm gonna hold this little angle right here to kind of give more of a little catty look without having to really focus on doing it with the brush. I'm just gonna go all over the lid and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye as well. Okay, so it's very, very natural looking. It's just like a dark pink Kind of like more of a mauve, but <clears throat> before I go in with a crease, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this before it gets like too dry to where I can't blend in anymore. And then now I'm going to do the same thing with the edge of that makeup bottle and go in with the crease color with my crease brush. Cute. And same thing on the other side. So this is kind of what we're working with now. And I'm just gonna blend it in a little bit more. And then add just a little bit more of the first color I used for the lid and make it a little bit more clean. Don't make it easy, no. All right, I'm gonna show you guys up close what it looks like. Hopefully we're focused. Next, I'm going to do bronzer. So, I'm going to go in with a very light hand because I don't want it to be like too over dramatic because I don't have foundation on. So, the bronzer I'm using is Bronze Please by L'Oreal. I like this bronzer, but I think that I'm more into a matte bronzer. This one is a little bit more shimmery which is pretty, but I think whenever I add, you know, my blush and my highlighter, it begins to kind of be a little bit too much. So I'm going to use this up, but I want to get more of a matte bronzer. I'm going to bring it down my neck. 
it's not too harsh of a contour it's more so just like going in those natural spots that the sun hits so around the forehead the cheekbones all right next i'm going to go in with blush i'm using the elf primer infused blush in the shade always rosy i absolutely love this color you guys should totally try it it's really affordable and a really good blush I'm just gonna pat on the apples of my cheeks and then I like to add a little bit of blush to my nose as well and then once I have blush applied I like to go back with the bronzer blush bronzer brush with nothing on it and kind of just smooth everything out and together so I'll just go back around and make things a little bit more clean and just blended everywhere I did not use bronzer and blush I'm going to go with my Maybelline fit me poreless powder and I'm just gonna go in super light-handedly because I still want to have that glowy look from the primer I used now I'm going to kind of just clean up my brows I'm really not great at doing brows to be honest but what I usually do is just kind of run a pencil through it. I'm just using the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil in the shade Soft Brown. And I'm going to brush them up a bit. And then kind of just fill in the sparse areas. I'm definitely not the one for the eyebrow tutorial. <laughs> I would find somebody else for that. But this is just what I do. Just to kind of like make them look a little bit more visible. Because I have really light eyebrows. So... I'm going to go in with this. Also, this is like my good brow, so it really doesn't take a ton of effort to get this one looking good. But my other brow, on the other hand, is just a hassle. I don't know what happened. I think maybe one time that I was kind of shaping my eyebrows, maybe I just like totally butchered that one. And just like gave it a completely different shape. And so now I'm kind of like in the process of getting it back to normal and then kind of going back in and shaping it more like this one that looks okay i'm so bad at doing this eyebrow i just like never know how to position my hands it must be nice to have naturally perfect eyebrows because doing eyebrows is an art and i don't have it i honestly never used to film my eyebrows and i wondered why i looked so psycho that's why because eyebrows are supposed to shape your face and I literally had like none and would do my full-on makeup and be like I look weird still speedy it's because your eyebrows were literally blonde like nobody could see them actually one time somebody commented on my Instagram pictures and were like where are your eyebrows kind of mean but oh well okay I think I've actually gotten these shaped pretty similarly what do you guys think? Maybe not. I always think that they look the same, and then later throughout the day, I'm like, mm, maybe not. But we're just going to go with it, and I'm also going to put brow gel, and then this is just the Anastasia brow gel as well. I actually don't think... Oops. Oh, shoot. I literally just dug my fingernail into freaking eyeshadow. What am I doing? SOS. Okay. So as I was saying, I actually don't think that I love this. I feel like as it dries and like as the day goes on, it kind of looks... A little like not white I don't know I feel like you can just like tell there's something in your eyebrows you know what I mean I feel like it just dries weird as time goes on but I don't have anything else so I kind of still use it but I just use it like very very lightly and sometimes I'll even go back over my brows with just a normal spoolie to kind of get excess product out so I'm gonna do that now just with the brow pencil all right not terrible not sure I feel like my camera keeps unfocusing which is really frustrating okay next we're gonna do lips so I have absolutely been loving this lip liner a ton of people on YouTube are too because every makeup video I watch I feel like everyone uses the same lip liner it's the L'Oreal Paris L'Oreal Paris color rich matte in the shade 112 it's this one it's literally such a beautiful color just outline my lips with it I also think it kind of has like a coral undertone as well a trick I like to do when applying lip liner is have chapstick on so you can kind of like rub your lips together and actually have some moisture and it also just goes on way easier and not as like bold and then I just take it down a little bit as well 
so I almost just like fill in my lips with the lip liner as well not just outline them now that I've done that I'm going to apply lip gloss on top of it I'm gonna go in with the NYX butter gloss this is in the shade angel food cake I think these two paired together just look really really pretty but I will say I don't go in like too crazy with the lip gloss I get a lot of the product off of the applicator and I just put it all over my lips but it just kind of gives like a little bit of a pinky look but not too overwhelming the lips are done do a little close-up I think they look so good they make them look just like so much bigger than they actually are which I love that all right I'm missing mascara I, I feel like I always do mascara last because I like don't realize that I'm forgetting it and then I'm like something looks off and then I'm like oh my freaking eyelashes so I'm gonna go in with my favorite it's the roller lash by benefit this literally makes my eyelashes look so good I've never tried a better mascara yet so until then this is gonna be the one I use oh my god it's so good I love it all right, top lashes are done. I'm gonna go light-handedly on the lowers. I don't really love the look of a ton of mascara, but just very lightly, looks good. Perfect. I set up this whole thing really badly. I'm like so far away from my actual mirror, so I'm having to use like little mirrors, and it's like the most difficult thing ever, so give me a second. All right, things are looking pretty good. I'm gonna give you guys an up close. One thing that I want to add now is um, highlighter and I'm just going to use like a very little amount of this because I still feel like I already have like a pretty glowy look from the primer. But I'm going to go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter in the color Champagne. And I'm just going to use my finger because I feel like it blends it a little bit more better than a brush would. And I'm going to go on my nose the tip of my nose and just really really pat it in and like blend it. This is such a good color. It's like perfect for summer. I really like gold highlights. And down the bridge of my nose a bit. And then I like to add highlight on my Cupid's bow. Like that. And then I'm gonna under I'm gonna add it underneath my brows and I'll probably call it done on that. Alright, I'm liking this look. It's very natural. I love not having to wear foundation. It just makes things so much easier and your skin just looks so much more natural and just not so cakey. All right, so I'm gonna set my face. This stuff is so freaking good. Not only does it smell good, but I just love that it's a mist. Some setting sprays are just like way too overwhelming whenever you squirt them. And it almost comes out in like a stream of water rather than a mist and it just like, leaves water droplets on your face and they kind of like dry there so i am a big fan of this one if you guys are looking for a good one i would definitely check this one out and that is the look guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you like this makeup look give it a thumbs up and i will do more makeup in the future and if you guys are new here it would mean so much to me if you would subscribe as well and i'll see you guys in the next video bye